Marriage is a lot of fun, but it can be really difficult. That's why you need an arrangement so that you like keep things spicy and fresh. Keep watching to find out what I'm talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denanyo, and today we are talking all about marriage. Marriage, relationships, arrangements, all those little things, okay? Today we're talking about the book, The Arrangement. The author of the book is Kirsten Moglen. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is suspense thriller. Okay. So while I was waiting to record this, I was reading on the back where they were talking about she is the queen of twist. I didn't know that. This was the first book I've read of Kirsten's. Wow. <laughs> so let's get into one of my favorite, favorite things about the book. My favorite thing about the book is that Throughout the entire story, the whole theme is that you need to trust your spouse. And if you say you trust them, trust them, right? Let that be it. You don't gotta go snooping. You don't gotta go looking for stuff. Trust them. But that doesn't really happen in this couple, <laughs> okay? The book starts off with Ainsley telling her husband, hey, I think we should, you know, have these little arrangements, step outside of our marriage and kind of see whoever we want to see. And so you're following Peter and he's all like, oh, I can't believe this is gonna happen. I'm so devastated. But then, ooh, could I date my coworker? And, and so you're just like, oh, Peter, I hate that you're in this situation. Child, come to find out, dating other women, other men outside your marriage is the least of the concern with this couple, okay? One of the most groundbreaking things to me in this book is an envelope. Yes, envelope, just an envelope. This is paramount to trusting your spouse. <laughs> okay, so Ainsley goes out on this date and Peter's like, where are you going? You can't be going out. Oh my God, I know I agree, but I'm going crazy. But what if there's an emergency? And she's like, I'm gonna write where I'm going. I'm gonna put it in an envelope. I'm gonna sit it aside. Child, the story happens. He starts seeing this woman. She starts seeing someone and then someone turns up and then a cop comes to the house and then the end of the story, you see another envelope. You open it up. Ainsley's like, if I said no more secrets, there's really no more secrets. I got rid of this. Peter had all these secrets. He thought he had been cheating on Ainsley this whole time and she had no idea. Not only did she know, she took all the evidence and got rid of it so that they could stay happily married, dysfunctionally married. And her whole thing was just give me the attention that I've been wanting and I'll keep all this buried. You're welcome. This book is about a married couple who is bored. They're over it. They're like, well, what else is out there? She's like, well, let me just see somebody else. He's like, well, I guess I will because you are too. Turns out they got 8,500 other secrets going on. So good, so good, okay? I do have an issue with them replacing the porch and you gotta read the book to know what that's about. I, I, I think that was a little washed over, but phenomenal book, oh my gosh. I always go through point number seven when I reread this book. Hell yeah, okay, and I haven't said hell yeah in a long time. Yes, <laughs> I would definitely reread this book and I can't wait to find more books by Kirsten because phenomenal writer, okay? Queen of Twist, yes. So whenever I read a book, I always mark it as done because I've been reading books for years and I'm like, I think I read that book, I'm not sure. Just tag it, girl, just tag it as done. So if you are enjoying this book review, consider subscribing. I talk about books every single week. Suspense, thrillers, fiction, nonfiction, financial books, books about kids, all the books, all the books, okay? So if you love suspenseful books, consider reading this book here, One of Us is Dead. This one has a couple of twists. They're not quite as drastic, but it's really good. And one of us is dead. There's like seven characters in the book. Which one? Who, who, is the narrator dead? I'll see you in the next video.